The fuel system is a critical component in your engine. To reduce engine downtime due to fuel system failure, make fuel contamination control your top priority. In this video, we offer recommendations for controlling contamination in your fuel system. If you'd like more information, speak with your CAT dealer or check out our SIS 2.0 article on CAT Machine Fluids Recommendations. Among other factors, high operating pressure and extremely tight tolerances make fuel systems susceptible to contamination damage. Water, air and debris that enter the low pressure fuel system are carried downstream to the high pressure fuel system where they can do serious damage. Contaminants can cause pump plunger damage, piston breakage and seizures, resulting in engine power loss and eventual failure. Caterpillar wants to help you minimize the high cost and inefficiency of fuel system failure. So let's take a look at some strategies that we recommend for managing fuel system contamination. The first step is ensuring that your fuel meets cleanliness requirements. Fuel should have a minimum cleanliness level of ISO 18, 16, 13. Generally speaking, the cleaner your fuel, the longer life for your fuel system. One way to determine the fuel cleanliness level is through particle analysis or sampling. For example, your cat dealer can help you analyze fuel samples. Consult with them to determine your fuel testing needs and establish a regular testing interval. Once you've determined your fuel cleanliness level, there are four critical steps for achieving and sustaining fuel cleanliness. Use high quality fuel, properly store fuel and maintain your tank. Protect your fuel during transfer. Practice proper filtration. First, it's critical to use high quality fuel per recommended and required specifications. Do not add new engine oil, waste engine oil, or any oil product to the fuel unless the engine is designed and certified to burn diesel engine oil. Second, properly store fuel and maintain your tank. To start, Drain your fuel tanks of sediment every 500 hours or three months per the operation and maintenance manual for your machine. Be sure to test microbial contamination regularly and take proper corrective action if contamination is present. Analyze the fuel and take corrective action if necessary every three months or sooner if problems are suspected. When fuels are stored for extended periods, follow all the fuel supplier and tank maintenance procedures. Circulate the fuel regularly through a filter to remove sediments and test the fuel regularly. The fuel is not recommended for use when its properties change negatively. For fuels containing biodiesel, the storage duration may be significantly reduced. For DIY customers with small storage tanks, if the fuel is dirtier than specified, we recommend talking to your dealer about strategies for proper cleaning and maintenance. The third key strategy is protecting your fuel during transfer. Here are a few important tips to keep in mind. Follow proper fuel transport and filtration practices from the storage tank to the machine to allow delivery of clean fuel. Keep the fuel storage tank clean of water, debris, and sediment. Also, make sure that the area around the fuel tank filler neck is clean of debris, preventing dirt entry and fuel tank contamination. Cover, protect, and ensure cleanliness of all connection hoses, fittings, and dispensing nozzles. Fourth, be sure to practice proper filtration methods. Different filter grades will provide different results. For example, a 4 micron absolute filter is recommended for when you are refueling a machine. This filter must also remove water, ensuring that the fuel is dispensed at 200 parts per million water or less. You should also drain water separators daily. It's also important to note that your filter does not have an infinite life. Change your fuel filters per recommended service requirements, which you can find in your operation maintenance manual on cat.com. If your system is equipped with secondary and tertiary fuel filters, make sure you don't fill the new filters with fuel before installation. Always use the priming method on the machine. Never remove the filter from its packaging until you are ready to install it and be sure not to touch the clean side of the filter as you are preparing it for use. In addition, be sure to install desiccant type breathers of four micrometers or less absolute efficiency on bulk storage tanks. Use the priming pump to remove air from the system. 
For bulk storage tanks, use bulk tank filtration to remove particulate contamination and water. Filter the fuel with a rating of 6 microns absolute or less when filling the bulk storage fuel tank. Be sure to use properly designed and grounded bulk fuel filters and coalescer units to remove both particulate contamination and water. If you need help sourcing these parts, try checking with your cat dealer. You may also need to use centrifugal filters as a pre-filter with fuel that is severely contaminated with large amounts of water or particulate contaminants. Finally, be sure to perform analysis after system failure. If another component in the system needs to be repaired, that is another potential source for contamination. For example, if there is a pump failure, we recommend performing fuel cleanliness analysis or fuel sampling before replacing the pump. Consistently following these practices can help reduce the occurrence of costly fuel system failure and engine downtime caused by fuel contamination. For more information and guidance, speak with your CAT dealer or check out our SIS 2.0 article on CAT Machine Fluids Recommendations.